see there are many, many things that could happen today. 16 permutations between these four teams, but it comes down to one very simple matter. The Yankees win they're in the playoffs. Yeah, that's very true, Michael, and it was true yesterday, so you hopefully they play a lot better than they did yesterday. The fact is I don't think they can play any worse than yesterday's ball game. So I'm looking forward to a good game from the Yankees today. The bullpen is well rested. Maybe they can come up with some big hits and just take it from there. All right, so there's been a lot of debate on whether or not the Yankees should have used Garrett Cole on three days rest today, and I, I've got to tell you, I agree with them not using yeah. him because they're assured that this is not their last game. Even if they lose and everything goes wrong, they still have a tiebreaker, and they then you get Garrett Cole on normal rest. So I think that was the right move. Yeah, especially this time of year, you know, it's getting down towards the end of the season. Pitchers are throwing a lot of pitches, and I think the extra day of rest will do him well. So I look forward to uh, the Yankees winning today. Maybe they won't have to worry about it. All right, so it's going to be interesting to see how they get nine innings out of their pitching. In all likelihood, they're not going to get a lot of length out of a Jamison Tyone. So how do you think it's going to go? What do you think they want from Tyone tonight? Well, I, I think at least three innings. I think at least three solid innings where the Yankees either have the lead or the game is close or no score and then they can turn over the bullpen which is you know somewhat well rested I, I think you're going to see Luis Severino in this game I think that he's a guy who could give you at least two innings maybe three remember he's been a starter in the past I know he's just coming back from a, a long time on the injured list but he's, he's a guy that I think is going to play a pivotal role in today's game and if you look at the bullpen now they have one more um, arm out there and that's Luis Hill yeah. because they put DJ LeMayu uh, on the IL so they're loaded with arms and every single arm is available today except likely Michael King is not yeah Michael King was used yesterday and I think that uh, you know he, he won't be in play this afternoon you know so many people came into this series and said well the the Rays have nothing to play for so they're not going to play that hard and well you just don't know the Rays are a hundred win team uh, because the rosters don't expand to 40 any longer it's 28 mm -hmm. so you're gonna have to play somebody that's important and they like beating the Yankees also they're a very good team yes they are every every player has a role on their ball club and I think the first two days kept Kevin Cash, their manager, left a couple of guys out of the lineup, but not today. They've got their best lineup out there, one you can expect to see in the playoffs. All right, Michael Walker gets the start for the Tampa Bay Rays, and you might say, well, the Yankees should hit him. Well, everybody hits him, but the Yankees haven't this year. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. That was early in the season. There's more on the line for the Yankees today. I just think you get a good pitch, you put your best swing on it, hope for the best. Maybe they won't be able to catch some of these shots the Yankees are capable of hitting. All 